Good evening, ladies and gentlemen. My name is Reckless Riley, and today I'm going to be talking about eight tips for Mario Kart 8 in 150cc and mirror mode. Now, I know a lot of people are having problems with these modes as they're very difficult, and there's lots of items, there's fast AI, and they're very good AI. And so I've created eight tips that are very useful for Mario Kart 8, and hopefully they'll help you get three stars yourself. Now, these are not in a specific order of how good they are, how useful, but they're in an order of how they're connected. Some are very similar, so I put them close together. But without further ado, on to our first tip. Now, the first tip is always hold an item behind you. Now, a lot of people already do this, but for those who don't, what you want to do is get a green shell or a banana when you're in first place, but you hold that behind you, and by doing that, you make it so that when red shells come after you, because that's the most popular item that will hit you when you're in first, when it comes and hits you, it'll make it so that it destroys the item behind you, and instead of making you knock out, making you fall off the track, you'll just be able to get another question block and just keep going, which is really useful to keep you up in first, and so that you don't fall back behind other people. It's really, really annoying when you get a red shell right at the end of the third lap, or a blue shell. This can't block blue shells, but the red shells and green shells, they're a piece of cake. Now, the second thing to do is always find shortcuts. Now, this is an obvious reason why, because you want to get ahead of those people, cut off as much course as you can, and get ahead of everybody, but you have to first find them. Nintendo is very good at hiding their shortcuts, so I'd recommend going online or on 50cc or 100cc and just looking for these shortcuts, because there's tons in every single map. You will find at least one, and it'll help you a lot getting away from all the people, getting ahead of everybody, and keeping your lead in first place use high-speed vehicles. Now, I know a lot of people like to have a lot of handling, have a lot of weight, or have a lot of traction, but the thing is, when you are using those things, though they make the game a lot easier, you can't really make up for the speed. Speed is something that helps you at the finish line when you want to get ahead of somebody and you're both going off straight away or something like that. But the thing is, you can make up for handling, you can make up for traction. If you just practice, 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 you can make up for those things. But the thing is, you can't make up for speed. Speed is something that's just hardwired into the vehicle that you can't make up for. You can change your way of driving to fix your handling or fix your traction, or you can just stay away from people and you won't need weight if you're in first. But the thing is, you can't make up for speed. And because you can't make up for speed, you need to have a lot of speed. So I recommend using somebody like Metal Mario or Morton or Donkey Kong is what I use. And just using those characters will make it so that it's a much, much easier once you get used to them. Use the horn to its potential. Now the horn is an item that's a red box with a, a golden horn on the side and it is so much more useful than you'd think. This has got to be one of my favorite items in Mario Kart 8 besides the piranha plant and it is so useful because not only can you make it so that you drive into a bunch of people and use it and knock them all out but this can be used on blue shells and you can get it in first. So when you get it in first hold on to that thing. Yes you are open to getting red shells thrown at you but Think of this, blue shell comes at you, you're about to go on the third lap, you're about to lose, and you just blow it up. You blow up the blue shell, and you're able to do this because of this horn that you can get in first. It's hard to get, it's not very common that you get it in first, but when you do get it, hold on to it. It's useful, use it to its full potential. Wait for a blue shell. Now one of the most useful tips out there is to use the start boost. Now if you don't know what that is, it's when you hold down A all the way when you're at the beginning, before it even starts, it says 3, 2, 1, and then when it says go, you let go and you press A again, and it'll give you a small little boost at the beginning of the game. This is really, really useful as it starts you at the beginning of the pack, and it makes it so that you're ahead of everyone to start off in the game, which just helps you out a lot. Even that tiny, tiny boost at the very beginning, it can work wonders throughout the race. Anyway, just hold down A, and then when it says start, let go and press it down again. It comes from a lot of practice, you can't get it every single time, but through practice you can get it more accurate every single time. Drift and Double Drift. When you're drifting around a turn, you obviously have to drift when you're in Mario Kart 8. You drift, 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 you turn around, you click the right bumper, and you drift around that turn to get a boost. But what you can also do on a lot of big, wide turns is you can double drift, which is when you finish that drift, you get to an orange wave behind your tires, you let go, you boost, and then you drift again around that turn and keep doing that and get more drifting from it so that you can get the blue wave, the red wave, and that way you can get two mushrooms worth of drifting and boost from a single turn. It's not possible on all races, it's not possible on all turns, but when you can do it, 
do it. Rainbow Road is a good example of this. Now number 7 is use the gamepad map and item tracker. This is especially useful and nobody seems to notice how useful this is. What you can do is when you look down at the gamepad you can see that you can click the map and when you click on that map you can see what items everybody has which is really useful as you can see if somebody has a blue shell so you can move back and you can make it so that you can stay behind, stay in second, and somebody else gets the blue shell and then you head forward. Think about that, dodging blue shells, don't even need an item to block it, you just stay behind and somebody else has it because you preempted it. Then you can also look down and see how far behind people are. How if they're really close you can say, hmm, I think I'm going to stay behind, I have a shell now, I'm going to knock them and then you get ahead even more. Or you can see how far of ahead you already are and you can take some more risks, make it so that you can get farther ahead if possible. This just makes it so that there's less stress on you, you can do more risks and it just makes it a lot easier. So use that and use it to its full potential. Now the very last one is very simple and very easy, but tricks. Use tricks. I've seen so many people just go over jumps and never use tricks. When you go over a jump, if you're holding the gamepad, you can just shake it or you click the drift button and you'll your character will just have like this little ding and they'll light up and then they'll have a boost. They'll have a blue boost and it'll make it so that you can get a little bit farther ahead, a little boost out of it, and it just makes it easier by doing that. Whenever there is a jump, do it so that you can get farther ahead. Now I hope these tips helped you and I really hope that you guys would like the video if you want to, subscribe if you really feel like it. But if you like these videos, please comment below saying that you do, and hopefully I'll make more of these. Anyway guys, my name's Reckless Riley, and I'll see you guys later. Roll the dubstep! Oh, oh